I'm Kevin, and today we're talking about hydroelectric power. Hydroelectric power accounts for an impressive 16% of global energy production and is expected to grow over 3% per year for the next 25 years. The most conventional way of generating hydroelectricity is through the use of dams. It is an ideal method for producing hydroelectricity because there is almost no direct waste once the project is completed and the level of production of electricity is quite flexible. Hydroelectric facilities also have considerably less carbon emissions than traditional fossil fuel use. So now that we've learned a little more about the benefits of hydroelectricity, let's learn about some of the disadvantages. The use of hydroelectric power interrupts the normal flow of water, causing significant damage to local ecosystems. The overflow of rivers leads to the dislocation of wildlife as well as people. While ecosystems upstream of the dams are harmed by the overflow of rivers, ecosystems downstream are harmed due to the lack of water. With the use of hydroelectricity in dams comes the risk of facility failure. Right now I'm standing on the South Fork Dam in Johnstown, Pennsylvania, and in 1889, long before the invention of hydroelectric power, the dam broke due to heavy rains. This unleashed about 20 million tons of water on the town below, killing over 2,000 people. Now with advances in technology today, these instances are few and far between, but it's always a risk that needs to be confronted when building these facilities. So that was just a brief overview of hydroelectricity and its pros and cons. While it's a great source of green energy, it also poses several serious threats to ecosystems and infrastructure around the dam. Be sure to do your own research to be more informed on the issue when forming your own opinions. For Operation Water, I'm Kevin. I'll see you next time.